Okay, so question 24 says the equation of a curve is y equal to x raised to the power 3 plus x squared minus x minus 1. S says determine i, the stationary point of the curve. Okay, now when you have an equation like this and you need to determine the equation of the curve, the first thing you need to do, okay, so let me write out the equation. The first thing you need to do is find the y over the x. You need to look for the first derivative. So that will give us, um, when we differentiate, x raised to the power 3, we are going to get 3x squared plus, this will be 2x, this will be minus 1, okay? So now we have that. The next thing we need to do is um, equate this equation to 0. So we will be solving um, 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So to solve this quadratic equation, we will be employing um, the factorization method. And then the first thing you need to know for your factorization method, you need to get a sum, which is the middle term, that's plus 2x. And um, the product, our product is going to be the first time multiplied by the last term, which will give us um, minus 3x squared. That's, this is our first term, this is our second term, and this is our third term. So the product is first term times the third term why the sum is the second term so now we'll be looking for factors of 3x so we'll look for um that factors of 3 are 1 and 3 so we will be using x and 3x okay so what polarity will go now this will be we'll use um, um that will be minus x and plus 3x the reason is when you do minus x times 3x you get um, minus 3x squared and when you sum it up you can get 2x so instead of writing 3x squared i'm now going to use plus 3x minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 now let's check 3x minus x still gives us back our positive 2x so factorizing this 3x is common so we have x plus 1 so you have minus 1, then you have x plus 1 equal to 0. So from here, we have um, 3x minus 1 bracket x plus 1 equal to 0. So you say 3x minus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So from here, we have 3x is equal to 1 and therefore x will be 1 over 3. Here you have x is equal to minus 1. So our x is equal to 1 over 3 or minus 1. Now, to get the stationary point of the curve, we insert our x in the equation. So for x equal to 1 over 3, y will be that's 1 over 3 or is to power 3 plus 1 over 3 or is to power 2 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 now they will, this will give us 1 over 27 plus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 1 so our lcm it's going to be 27 so this will be 27 into 27 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 plus 27 into 9 is 3 3 times 1 is 3 minus 27 into 9 it's 27 into 3 will give us 9. 9 times 1 is 9. Minus 27 into 1 is 27. So the, um, 27 times 1 will give us 27. So this will give us um, 1 plus 3 will give us 4. 4 minus 9 will give us minus 5. Minus 5 minus 27 is going to give us um, minus 32 over 27. So, and this will give us, um, this is going to be, um one whole number minus one whole number five over 27 okay so that means at this point when x is equal to one over three um y will be y will be minus one five over 27 okay so um to get the other point we need to text for x equal to minus one and um y will still be remember our equation still says x raised to power 3 plus x squared minus x minus 1 so this is going to be minus 1 raised to power 3 plus minus 1 all squared minus 
minus 1, minus 1. So this will give us minus 1 when you raise 1 raised to the power 3. So remember, when you do the minus, it will be minus times minus times minus. So this will give you minus. So this is minus 1 plus, this will be 1. Minus times minus will be plus 1, minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1. So this will give us 0. So for x equal to minus 1, y will be what? 0. So these are the stationary points of the equation. Now, the next question says, um, the next question says, I, I find the nature of the stationary points in AI above. Okay, so for us to get the nature of the stationary point, we need to write out our equation, which is, um, okay, we got the first derivative at some three x plus two x minus one. Now to get the nature of the stationary point, we need to get the second derivative, and at that point, when we get the second derivative, then we test whether it is positive or negative. First of all, to get the second derivative of this equation, we will have, I'm sorry, this is 3x squared. So this is going to be 6x plus 2. Now the condition for stationary point, condition will be if the squared y over the x squared is positive, then this will give us the minimum point okay then if the squared y over the x squared is negative now this will give us this will give us maximum point so just remember positive gives you the maximum minimum point um, negative gives you what the maximum point then i'm going to add one more for you if you have the squared y over the x squared to be 0, it means this could be either a minimum point, minimum, it could be maximum, minimum or maximum, or an inflection. An inflection is like a curve, the point where the graph changes, the curve changes. So that is exactly this. So now at this point, we need to test again. So using our D squared, so we test, test our X in the squared Y over the X squared. So that's in this equation, this particular equation. So remember our X was, we had X as what? One over three. So putting it into the squared y over the x squared, we'll get the squared y over the x squared to be, this will be 6 times 1 over 3 plus 2. Now this will give us what? So this will give us um, 2 plus 2. So this will give us 4. So at this point, what do you think is the nature of it, of the curve? So it's going to be what? Since it's positive 4, we say... This is what? The minimum point. So this is the minimum point. So then we test for at x equal to minus 1. So the squared y over the x squared is still going to be 6 into minus 1 plus 2. Now this is going to give us what? This is going to give us minus 6 plus 2. And this is give us minus 4. So this is what? the maximum point so these are the natures of the curve at the different values of x so at x equal to 1 over 3 it's giving us a minimum point where the d squared y over the x squared is 4 and at x equal to minus 1 it gives us negative 4 which shows that the point the nature of the curve at that point is maximum okay so um okay question 24 b says determine i the equation of the tangent to the curve at x equal to 1 now you need to recall that our equation said x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1 now to get the equation to your tangent or the gradient um, it's going to be that still the y over the x which will give us what 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 so to get our gradient 
that our gradient it's going to be put x at 1 in dy over dx now this is going to give me 3 into 1 square plus 2 times 1 minus 1 now this will be 3 plus 2 minus 1 that will give me what this will give me 4 therefore my gradient for the equation it's what 4 so now knowing that my gradient is 4 remember when our x is 1 what is our y in our original equation that's 1 that's in y is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1 now putting x as 1 you get 1 raised to the power 3 plus 1 raised to the power 2 minus 1 minus 1 now this would be 1 plus 1 that's 2 minus 2 this will give us what 0 so okay so um, at this point you need to put in your equation for your line now you know that equation for your gradient it's equal to what that's y minus y1 over x minus x1 and you remember here our x1 is equal to 1 and our y1 is equal to what that's 0 so this would give us um 4 will be equal to y minus 0 over x minus 1 so cross multiplying this is going to give us um 4 into x minus 1 is equal to y so okay so okay so at this point it means y is equal to 4x minus 4 so this is our equation to uh this is our equation equation of tangent at x equal to 1 okay so the the i i part of the question says we should find the equation of the normal to the curve now when you think about normal normal it's just like being perpendicular to um normal is just being perpendicular to the tangent so while you do it your gradient for your normal times your gradient for your tangent it's going to give you what minus one so knowing that the gradient for our tangent it's equal to what it's equal to four we can now find our gradient to the normal so the gradient to the normal will be equal to what minus one over gradient to our tangent which will give us what minus one over four so with that we can still we knowing that our x when our x is equal to 1, our y is equal to 0, we solve for the same equation. So, but now our gradient will now be minus 1 over 4 will be equal to y minus 0 over x minus 1. You cross multiply, this will be minus 1 into x minus 1 equal to 4 into y minus 0. So, this will give us, um, this will be minus x plus 1 is equal to 4 y okay so at this point at this point 4y will be equal to um minus x plus one so divide both sides divide both sides by four now this will give us a um, 4y over 4 is equal to minus x over 4 plus 1 over 4. Now, when you do this, you are going to get y will be minus 1 over 4 all into x plus 1 over 4. Now, you can always see that this has a relationship to y is equal to mx plus c. And this is your gradient, which is what? Minus 1 over 4. But this is our final answer which is the equation we are looking for. So to be sure you are correct, your gradient must correspond with your M. And also if you compare the other one, the other question we solved, you will also see that the gradient, comparing this to Y is equal to MX plus C, you will see that the gradient is what? 4. So that is exactly how to solve this question.